Hey you guys, this is Joey. So today I read Spider Verse number three. And honestly I didn't think it was that great up until the very end. So um we find out well that Spider Ham is a cannibal. <laughs> well but we already knew that when he had eat ribs before and he also likes bacon flavored ice cream. Um but I've seen Spider Ham eat people or eat pigs before, so anyways other than that, um, the guy who had been uh, trying to make contact with uh, Spider-Gwen or whatever, I think he was the mayor or whatever, the guy who had Spider-Ham at that factory or whatever that uh, Spider-Gwen broke him out from, well, like, they're all in a fight with some villains, um, and Spider-Ham calls this guy, and the guy sends a couple of uh, other villains out to get him. Well... It turns out that this guy, he isn't really a bad guy. I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy. Um, everybody else likes him. And, uh, you know, when he shows them the web that he discovered, and uh, he wants to help them find out what it is, find maybe find a way home. He knows they're all part of it and connected somehow. And Spider-Gwen just isn't feeling it. She tries to convince the others to leave with her. Nobody else wants to go. And... Yeah, so she just goes to the cemetery where she feels, like, comfortable, alone, and at peace or whatever. And, uh, you know, someone shows up and they're like, hey, it feels kind of peaceful, don't it? Uh, don't freak out. I know who you are. You might have heard of me. My name is Peter Parker, and I used to be Spider-Man. So Peter Parker shows up on the last page of Spider-Verse number three. So I will be reading Spider-Verse number four. I will do a review, and I will keep you guys posted. I got a few other reviews today to do, uh, two more Spider-Man books. So if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And I'll uh, see you later this afternoon.